Bongo was in the grip of the flames and nothing could save it. Outside the jungle, Burma is tinder dry at this time of the year. A single incendiary bomb would have started a big blaze, let alone scores of them with some HE thrown in. I don't know how many people were killed. It happened so suddenly that hundreds must have been trapped. Those that escaped formed into the inevitable army of the lost and hopeless. God pity them, man won't. And now, naval cameramen bring the first films of suicide planes in action, power diving at 600 miles an hour. Tokyo, 20,000 feet below. The all-shattering devastation in which was born the atomic age. In its birth pangs, 75,000 people were killed, 70,000 injured. Taking his place at the surrender table, Shigemitsu reads through the terms. Japan has today surrendered. The last of our enemies is laid low. From the USA come first pictures of the nationwide reaction to a victory. To a packed press conference, President Truman gives the long-awaited announcement. I deem this reply a full acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration, which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. Stampeding to the nearest phone box, reporters spread the news to a waiting world. From the East Coast to the West, Americans' millions had only been waiting the official word to go completely wild. 